Yeah, you know, I give props from the Steve Fresh, so it's all about BattleRap.com and Hip Hop DX. Who know high times? Live and direct, LA Zone, baby, splash. What what we are attempting to do with this battle is show that even people that have beef and got issues with each other can resolve it through battle rap, not as a means to further perpetuate the beef. So, obviously, we just folded the fucking internet in half. So, that is what it is. But I guess me being the optimist that I am, I'm just looking at it like maybe this will at least open up the discussion for how do we really, because now it's not just a one-time thing. You know, it's not just... Hoffa swinging because now someone threw the first punch on Hoffa. So what do we do about this? And what do we do to prevent this from happening in the future? You don't have to be like that. And you see mother like, you know, daylight and clips. Those fools, those fools are from the hood. Those fools are straight grimy with it with their bars and shit. And they, they have an image that lends itself to the street and that type of activity. But they kept it lyrical and you, they could transcend whatever it is with just their bars you know what i mean and that's what people need to take use that as an example and i think at the end of the day that's going to be the battle from this event that is potentially going to be discussed as a classic you know what i mean now that punch was classic but you know the battle was dope up until then it's kind of that's kind of was the worst part about it i've been i've been really focused on pushing daylight from the beginning of his career since he first emerged and like i've seen him come full circle i've seen him shift with the game what's crazy about daylight he's like literally the devil's advocate because whatever the general consensus is whatever the direction the, the stream is flowing in he's going to be the opposite now if you look in the beginning of daylight's career it was all it was the time of fucking um of grind time so it was a lot of comedy bars people weren't taking it as serious and here comes you know, Grape Street Daylight from Watts spitting just straight fucking gutter. Like, you could get capped in America. You know, just hard gutter bars, which nobody was doing at that time. And now that everybody's on that hard body shit, what does he do? He comes from different angles and is extra creative or, and brings the antics and shit like that. So that's why Day is, you know, so interesting. And, and Clips, you know, he brings a whole unique brand to the table. I used to listen to fucking him on Dipset mixtapes back in the day. So it's just crazy to even, you know, have the opportunity to fuck with artists of this caliber and, and I definitely think that yeah they are above the majority of the pack in battle rap I mean like it's really difficult to gauge who won that battle because at the end of the day the whole the whole barometer at which is judged is differently I can't really say who won a lot of people um, were shocked that Absol even had that level of of lyricism, we know that he he's a great songwriter, but battling a completely different beast, and the fact that he was able to tame that as well was crazy. But the fact that Daylight is a battle rapper on a mainstream release, he kind of won then too, right? <laughs>